everyone i'm gonna share with you how to make the bag and um so um you can use baby blanket this is the old one that uh you can you can tell how old that is um my kid 12 years old now so you you do the math um the side of the fabric i cut two of this one for the lining and one for the outside so the side of this is 16 inches and in half by 25 inches long okay and i have cut two so i'm using the baby blanket to add the extra protection this is very little sewing you don't need to do the quilting yet i want to sew a quarter of an inch all around all around the four sides so that in first all four sides okay just like this one right here that I already did. I cut this one for the lining exactly the same way. And I sewed it around the four side or around. Okay. This is for the lining piece. And the um, baby blanket behind. So each piece of this have the baby blanket behind. For the extra protection. To make it easier for you, you may have to go and cut this smaller. So it's easy for you to sew on the sewing machine. You don't need to bring the whole baby blanket. So cut in extra. And after I sew a quarter of an inch all around the four sides, so go and trim. This is this everyone and I'm going to bring this lining over. This is another piece right here and I'm going to add this on top and we're going to start sewing. So make sure everything is made up together. We have two of these so make sure you light it up. going to go ahead and sew this four side again okay four sides and then after that i quill lucky that my fabric i don't know how it's lie up like that but i'm gonna go follow this go down and then the next line i'm gonna go down like i'm quilting follow that line follow this line and i'm going to quill all the way all the way follow the line and if you don't have the fabric like that you get the ruler you're going to put it like this okay and then you draw on the line and then from that line you're gonna move this draw the next line and then move this draw the next line okay until you all go all the way over there and then when you're done you're going to go from this side or whatever side you're gonna go from here, draw the line, draw the neckline, and then go on to the other end. So that's how you quill. Okay, whatever you want to do, everyone. I'm not. I'm not an expert. I'm just showing you what I know. Okay. So.
for that basic thing, I'm not going to show you what to do. It's just straight line, go up and down, up and down, up and down. But the first thing, you're going to show the four sides together first. The lining and the main first. And then after that, you're going to quilt. Go this way, go this way. And then after that, go on this way. Like that. Go all the way to the other end. Everyone, after I um, quilt around like I show you. And I'm going to go around and whatever like this. Just uneven. Go and trim. It was so scary when you go to like visit someone at the ICU. It remind me when I give birth to the boy. I was C section, but um, so they took me in the room and they say oh, they didn't have a time to call my husband coming in with me. It was horrible. I was so scared, so scared, all by myself. Very scary. Okay, now I trim all around. It look nicer. Okay, um, you know they took two baby out, two two babies out, and my husband wasn't in yet. It was so so crazy. All right, everyone, just um, uh, okay. Let's put this on the side, and we'll make it a strap. Let me show you. I make the strap cut here five inches wide and fifty inches long. And what I do, I'm going to fold it in half this way, and I'm folding this again, and then I'm fold. It's too long, that's why I let it hang out to the table, and then I fold it again. So this way, it's thicker. You don't need to use interfacing. So I'm sewing this side all the way, and then sewing this side all the way. And also, I have cut here exactly the same, five inches wide two and a half inches long okay and then I fold exactly the same fold it in half and then fold into three like that one and then this okay you're gonna sew this side and you're going to sew so every one after you trim all around that looks so even and perfect and you're going to fold it in half and look at in the inside okay you're going to fold it in half make sure everything lie up perfect it's so cold it, it it's not that cold it's not windy it's so windy okay so i mark the center i'm going to add one of these on this side right in the middle like that that one side and then the long one right here with i already have this way in like that. I'm going to add one, one side in here. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm going to clip it down. You're gonna sew this a quarter up and in. You're gonna sew back and forth, back and forth. And then on this one with the uh, ring, you're gonna sew back and forth, back and forth one after I sew on this end and then I sew on this one so this thing right here that hanging around loop it in here for now and then I'm gonna just mark on the on the thing here so I know this is the center mark it like that okay so just mark it right on top of the strap right there. So now we're going to add the zipper. Let me fold it in the center, fold it in half. Mark the center. Everything we do, everyone, just take a little time. Do something extra time, but come out nice, okay? And then this one right here, you also need to mark the center too.
this one I got it on Dollar Tree so you after you mark the center right here you can just take this out to this out you're gonna take half of this go to here remember the teeth facing down You're gonna sew this line and then at the other end you're going to do exact the same facing the teeth down go right to the mark that you mark the center i like to have an extra at the end like that this zipper is it um they sell by yar check in my description for the link it's not too expensive it's not so like that you go going to sew this one too this one too and then the other one okay the other side so the zipper so the zipper okay okay so everyone after i sew on the zipper on both sides after you sew on this zipper you go going to fold it this way so you can top stitch when you fold you make sure this is the slide that you sew you're gonna make sure you fold it down this way Okay, and you top it on here. You don't do this, and then you top it. It's gonna be touching the teeth here. It when you pull the zipper, it's gonna stuck. So you're gonna pull. You're gonna fold down. Okay, not up. You press this. Okay, last night I came to visit my brother in the hospital. When I came in, he was so happy and he pointed at the food and he said, is that his food? Cause he hungry. Oh my goodness. When I know he hungry, that mean he's good. I am so happy. Top stitch this lie, everyone. So happy. Everyone after I top stitch in the zipper, top stitch in that side too. Go put one in one end in the the other one in the other end. And then you pull it right in the middle. So then you have two, one on each side. See how easy that pull in? That one, and then you do the other end. Okay, this end too. The two sides of the zipper. I add this one in there. And this one into you can just pull right into the middle like that. So I have two zipper. Okay, then you're gonna inside out. Get the inside out like this. You know I like the extra zipper like that. And you see the zipper right here. You're gonna the mark that we mark on top of the the strap. Make sure it go right in there too. So now you're going to sew the side and then you're going to sew the side. A quarter up and ends. That's good enough. So everyone, after I sew on the two line right there, I have cut here two and half inch high and two in and three quarter up and inch long. This one I'm using this to trace all the four corners. Okay. So you go on to start from a, like the sew line that you just sew and do this. Go into here, trace this, and then go to here. You're gonna trace this and then go into the other side, the other two sides, trace this and trace this. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go and cut. You're gonna cut all four. So now okay. I have, I cut two of this, two in by eight and a half, 
and I fold it to a quarter of an inch on the two ends and then I fold in the middle and then I fold again this is exactly the way you make the strap for handbag and then fold again and then fold again like this okay and I have two so you go into the two side that you're going to sew it in like cover like this if you want to use the bias tape feel free to do that all right so this side and so on this side and now every one after i sew on the two sides in here you're going to do this one you're going to fold it over and then you're going to sew on the bottom of the bed So sew this, sew this, this, and this. When you sew into that thick area, make sure you get the fabric and then you fold into the same thickness of that. Okay, like that. And then you make sure the needle hold on to that, lift this up, and place it right in front of the needle. Slide it. one after I sew on this and this remember when you flap this on one side the other one have to flap in the, other, the, the same side okay like this okay I cut in here two two inches wide and six in and a quarter and then you fold the two ends I fold about a quarter of an inch on each end and then I fold it again just exactly the same way you fold from the the other side of the zipper Okay, everyone, so I have four. So sew this, sew this, sew this, and sew this. This one is good for my kids when they have like an a iPad, a Nintendo Switch, or anything, charger, everything. It can put in one bag and then they carry so, with them. Uh, everyone, after I sew that fourth thing right here, you know if you change the lining inside, you can use that at the lunch box. Okay, lunch bag, whatever. This and go inside out. This basically it. This is good for carry all the thing that you need. You can put fabric. I'm just give you the idea how to make this, but your idea what to use it for. Look at this. It's so beautiful. The fabric I love. I meant to do that on the white so it can show. <laughs> okay. So the thing is already in here right so you're going to go to here go into this one right here with the ring right here go on the same side make sure you don't twist this one right here i'm gonna go through here move this thing out 
a little bit like that so I can slide this one and then I, I scoop this over the bar right here okay so go and pull this going up inside here and then move this thing make the room so this one right here can go in okay little bit I fold a little bit like a quarter of an inch at the end and then I put it back in here and see now you can adjust this thing in and now okay so like that with the thing right here when you fold it over I'm going to sew this in here you can go in the sewing machine and run this line just right here okay, everyone after I sew on this and and now that is that um, so very easy isn't it super easy I have to say and then you can adjust this you put it everything in here if you want to alright so this deep side of this bat is about seven and a half inch or more and it really tall too very roomy look at this everyone can carry so much okay i don't know how to measure but i'm doing this okay so it's like 10 inches this ipad this ipad is seven in by nice in and three quarter of an inch oh my god i just banged the ipad and i just put it in here you know they have the um the case to iPad is in there so you can see right there and if you want to if you have a case you have to have a case but I took it out so this is the kinder and the charger and everything you can put it in here I'm just give you an idea okay look how cute it is everyone oh my goodness that change the line and inside you can make this at the uh, the lawn bed so cute you can care almost carry everything in here carry your your kit device and all kind of thing that you can do stay safe everyone thank you so much for watching like share and subscribe and also um, thank you so much for the prayer that you sent to my brother and um, also subscribe to my second channel and my son channel too love you stay safe and uh, we'll let you know how is my brother doing. We'll update. Okay. Love you.